today we're going to focus mainly on creativity. So what is at the heart of creativity? And it's perception. Why perception? Because perception underpins everything you know, you believe, the clothes you wear, the people you fall in love with. Everything begins with perception. So to understand perception is to not only understand the brain, it's to understand what it is to be human. So we're going to talk about perception. And in thinking about it, I have one aim. It's the same aim I have in every single talk, which is I want you to know less at the end than you think you know now. <laughs> All right? And I always succeed, no matter how well I do. OK, why? Because nothing interesting begins with knowing. Anything interesting begins with doubt. It begins with not knowing. Right? And I want you to doubt at the most fundamental level, even your level of the perception of reality. So how many of you, when you woke up this morning, thought you saw the world as it really is? I think you probably all have the assumption that you're seeing the world accurately. And I'll demonstrate by asking you, do, do you believe in illusions? Do you believe illusions exist? Yeah, OK. So you believe that you see the world accurately. Why? Because the definition of illusion is to see the world differently from the way it really is. So if you believe in illusions, you think that sometimes you see the world differently than the way it is, which means most of the time you're seeing the world as it really is. So we're going to do a quick test. How many of you can see the predator that's about to jump out at you? And if you haven't seen it yet, you're dead, right? So 90% of the information your brain uses to see comes from lightness. It's staring right at you, literally. So let's add 10% of the information. Yes? For those who are still haven't had their cup of coffee, there it is. OK. <laughs> so if we go back, all right. So this makes a fundamental point, right? That when it comes to vision, your eyes have very little to do with what you see. I work at the Institute of Ophthalmology. They love it when I say that, right? The eyes are like the keyboard is to a computer. It's just the way to get the stuff in. It has very little to do with what you actually see. But maybe at the level of lightness, surely at the level of lightness, we see the world accurately. Because nothing's easier than seeing the intensity of light. That is our most basic visual sensation. Right? If that's true, then things that are different should look different. Right? And these four squares are, in fact, different in their intensity. This one's has less intensity than that when they look different, right? Agreed? So it seems like we're seeing the world as it really is, which means two squares that are physically the same should also look the same. And they do. But what happens if we don't change those squares? We just change what surrounds them. Do they still look the same? Everyone probably sees this one is lighter than that one. Yes? This is our most basic illusion and we don't know how it works. What it demonstrates, though, is that context is everything when it comes to seeing the world. Your brain